So this morning was interesting. We had rain. I saw sun, a little bit there of sun. There was a little bit yeah. of, yeah, a, little, a few sprinkles out there, but we also got some sun breaks. I captured it all at, on our Lake Oswego camera. More clouds than anything, but you see a few holes in the clouds from time to time and passing sprinkles out there. Temperatures generally have remained above average this morning, so that's kind of nice, too. We're running about five degrees above where we were at this point yesterday morning, so uh, a good afternoon to you. We have a few sprinkles down south right around Milano. Those are all moving off into the Cascade foothills. And other than that, we are dry for now, but that's going to be changing tonight. I want to show you what is going on across the country. Two bl blizzards in less than two weeks have really packed a punch across the midsection of our country. The snowfall totals very impressive and live pinpoint Doppler showing snow right now from Chicago down through St. Louis. Wichita, Kansas has had more than 20 21 inches of snow so far this month, which makes it the snowiest month on record. We have some video to show you that is out of a Missouri gas station. You can see in this video a canopy over the gas pumps fell because of the weight of that snow, just buckled under it. The gas station was closed at the time, luckily, so no one was injured, but definitely a lot busier back east than the weather that we are dealing with closer to home. So for now, we are mostly cloudy around the, the Willamette Valley and out at the coast. A few sprinkles around, but that ought to do it for today. That's until tonight when rain moves on shore, and tomorrow looks to be the wettest day of the week so far. And then we're drying out for the day on Friday. I want to play Raincast so you can plan the rest of your day into tomorrow. There's all that rain moving through overnight. This is 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, so we'll start with solid rain uh, around the metro for your morning commute and out at the coast. Heavy at times, I think, in the morning, and then things start to break up. This is 5 o'clock, so more shower activity. Still some heavy rain coming down over the Cascades. And then look at that. By the time Friday morning rolls around, the first day of March, we are dry. How about snow levels? They're climbing the next couple of days. So today we're up around 6,000 feet, or we will be within the next few hours. Same for tomorrow, but then look at that. Friday and Saturday, snow level climbs to 9,000 feet. So no travel troubles over the passes this weekend. Temperatures outside in the upper 40s for Beaverton and Garden Home, 50 degrees for those of you in Tigard, 50 as well in downtown, and 51 degrees for East Moreland. Out at the coast, we've got a mix of 50s and 40s, 54 in Tillamook this afternoon, 48 degrees in Hood River, and 46 degrees in Bend. Now, I mentioned a little while ago that we've been unusually warm this month. In fact, only one day at or below freezing at PDX. The last time that happened, February of 1963, so it's been 50 years since we've been this warm in the morning. A few sprinkles, otherwise the rain holding off until tonight from the coast through the Willamette Valley. East of the Cascades, partly sunny, a quiet day. Overall temperatures in the 40s and the 50s is where we'll top out east of the Cascades. 38 the high at Government Camp. Isolated sprinkles around until tonight. Filtered sunshine through the gorge with a few light sprinkles and then light rain moves in. For the overnight hours. A few sprinkles for this afternoon around Portland, but we'll continue to see that filtered sunshine and temperatures either right at about where we should be this time of year or slightly above. The average high again, 53 degrees, 55 for the high out at PDX, and 53 in Vancouver. So here's your uh, seven day forecast. Wet at times on Thursday. Look at Friday, 62 degrees. So a nice warm day to kick off the month of March. Still warm on Saturday, 60 degrees. And then rain develops. So we start Saturday dry, end it wet, mm -hmm. and a few showers stick around for Sunday. I'm loving the 62, though. It's going up. So I maybe know. by the end of the week, it'll be like 64, 75, 75, no, 75 just 80. All right. Thanks, Sally.